Hi everybody, this is Mike Aguilla for Student Stock. I want to show you uh, how to do probably as least expensive shot as you can do. And the purpose of this is to build your portfolio. If you're going to go to a client, don't walk in and show them pictures of a car if what, you, if what they're selling is, a, are, is beer. Um, and I'm actually shooting beer today because almost in every town there's microbreweries everywhere. And they all need photography. Uh, you might not be able to walk into uh, Coors or uh, Michelob and get a, a photo shoot because they're using big ad agencies. But these microbreweries um, are interested. And I want to show you how to do something um, very inexpensively so that you, when you walk in the door, you've got something to show. Um, total cost of what we're doing here is the cost of the beer and a sheet of matte acetate. And matte acetate you can get at an art store. Cost you $5 for a sheet like this. We're using window light, um, backlit. I've got a bounce card back here. That's about all you need. Correct exposure. I've got the beer. I've picked Corona because I like the color. And uh, later we'll show you in Photoshop how to put this together. One of the main things I'm trying to get across here is when you're shooting like this, you're shooting Photoshop first. You think Photoshop first. And everything you do, you keep in mind that you're going to Photoshop to make this picture look right. Um, a lot of folks like to go in the studio and shoot it perfect. And I highly suggest that's a great idea, but you can't always do that. So if you think Photoshop the entire time, you have a chance of making a beautiful shot uh, with a budget of $10 and um, build your portfolio. Glass I had at home, beer I like to drink, which is kind of nice to have because when we're done, if you're 21. Um, I set it up, mylar taped, piece of tape holding this on, backlight, you could shoot this um, in the morning, any kind of light you like, it's just going to be determining by what exposure you use. I've got this pretty well set up right now for good exposure. So I've got a little beer poured in here. Some people use soap suds for, for the beer foam. I like to um, just pour the beer and use the actual beer. And on the glass, sometimes it's nice to look like it's frosted. Again, very inexpensive. You could buy things that cost more, but I'm just going to take a little water, use your fingers, and shoot some water drops on there. It's not a bad idea to shoot some on both bottles. There we go. We've got some nice water drops running there. Now, you could use glycerin that you can buy for about $5 at a drugstore, and that way the water drops have a tendency to stay where you put them. They don't run quite as much and they don't dry out. So give that a, a quick little couple spritz and you've got some nice cold look on your uh, glass and your bottle. Taking a shot here and I'm holding this up high because I want it to foam and produce. And as it gets close to what I want to have right there, take a couple shots. I'm catching it with the, with the um, bubbles you'll see in the shot. You'll, the foam starts to go away quick. So what you want to do is to be able to do it again. Just pour some of the beer out into another cup. Now I've seen also folks put a, a plastic tube in here and literally drink it just to get it lower so that they don't move the cup. There are fringe benefits to having a shoot like this. Um, on, the sh on the real side, when you shoot, and if you get the, the gig and um, a company wants you to do an actual shoot, they're gonna come over with about 13 or 14 cases of beer for you to pick out the ones that have the best label. <laughs> and what's really great is they leave them. <laughs> it costs them more money to come pick it up. So. Um, fringe benefits can be <laughs> really great. Beer, a beer one's not bad. I, ha I was lucky enough once to have uh, Rocky Mountain chocolate. Leave about 50 tons of chocolate at my place. And I think you saw the video earlier where I had all the pimples. <laughs> anyway, lots of fringe benefits. And when you're done working, enjoy.